It's that time of the year again where Christmas is just around the block and I notice a lot of websites are adding small Christmas editions whether those are some snow animations or Santa and his elves all of these things add a small Christmas touch to a website. In this video we're gonna make an angular component that will create elements with emoji symbols from an array of emojis and animate them with falling and moving animation. A few years ago I shared snow animations with canvas but for this one I decided to go for a different approach where we would use emojis and CSS animations. Is this the best way of implementing this type of a feature? I wouldn't say that it is, especially if we have tons of particles on screen, but it is another way of implementing things. So let's dive in. I already made an angular component called snow and we can dive straight into the CSS. First we'll make the keyframes for the falling animation and we're gonna start from minus 15% and go up to 100%. Then for the move animations we'll make the snowflake start from 0 pixels on the x axis and move to around 75 and back to 0. Based on how much movement you want to have you can always change these values. Next we will add the snowflake class. This will be used for our emojis so we will set the color, the font size and and a bit of a text shadow. The position is fixed and the top will be minus 15 because we want the snowflakes to be hidden since we'll use a bit of a delay in this animation. Then we'll set the Z index, the cursor to default and next we'll add the animations and set the animation timing function to linear for the first one and ease out for the second one and then the animation iteration count will be infinite and you can always specify a number of cycles here if you want. And that is all for the CSS, we can now move into the component. Here I added a few properties like the emoji collection and if you want more text emojis you can head over to fsymbols.com, search for an emoji and click to copy and then paste it in your emoji collection. Then we have the number of particles and the inner width which is the screen width. Next we create the create particles method and here we'll loop through the particles, select a random emoji from a list of emojis, create the left position for the emoji. Next we'll create a spawn element and add the emoji as a text to the span. After this we'll add a class of snowflake to the span element, set the left position to our emoji left position value, add animation duration and animation delay. But since we want to randomize this value between a minimum and a maximum value, we'll create the random min max function and this will return a random number between two numbers. Next we can set the animation duration to last between 1.5 and 5 seconds for the first and for the second animation and finally we'll set the animation delay for the first animation only and this is used only for the initial running so that we don't get all the particles moved down at once. Next we want to append the span element to our component and call the create particles method in our ng on init method. And that is all for the component. Now it's just a matter of us calling the component and running the application. Uh, this is the final result and like I said we can always play around with the number of particles or with some other values that we created to get a different effect. And that is all for this one guys, hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something new today. Thank you for watching, like, share and subscribe if you want and I'll see you in the next one.